Ever spend hours building Verney with your LEGO Boost Creative Toolbox and wish for a quicker, simpler robot build? Today I'm showing you how to build a super simple robot in record time. I'll also help you grasp the basics of custom LEGO Boost programming so you can start making your robot to do what you want. Let's start already! And there you have it, your very own speedy robot. But the fun doesn't stop here. The models included in the LEGO Boost set have pre-made programs that do not really teach you how to code custom programs for your creations. Let's change that. Next, we'll dive into programming your robot to move around. Open the LEGO Boost app. You can get it for free from your device app store. And wait for it to load. Once the lobby screen appears, scroll all the way to the right and click on the window to unroll the curtain and tap here again to enter the Creative Canvas programming environment. Once there, click on the plus and create a new project. Let's leave the default project settings for now. Now, it asks to connect to the robot. So we press the green button on the robot, start blinking, and it should pair on its own. Once it's connected, the light turns blue. In this very first program, let's make the robot move straight. To do so, start by dragging a start block that you can find here in the palette of yellow blocks. Every program starts with this start block. Next, go to the green palette and find this block called Move Steering for Time. Drag and drop it in place. You can see that a gray area appears when the block is ready to snap, so you just have to release it and it will snap into place. If you want to know more about a block, you can press and hold on a block in the palette or in the program, and a little pop-up window will appear. There are other similar blocks, so in case you make a mistake like so, you can remove this block by dragging it away. Now let's test it. We can tap on the start block or on the green play button. What? Hmm, it's going backwards. Why? When your program does something unexpected, you shouldn't blame the program itself. It's just that we encounter the bug. What's a bug? It's a defect we made that prevents your program from doing what it's supposed to do. In this case, we want the robot to go forward, but it goes backwards. Let's see why. We have to investigate. Here it is. Well, to balance the weight of the batteries, I designed the robot with the hubs bottom facing forward. And that means that the motors are swapped. It's like the game of opposites. Forward becomes backward and left becomes right. So let's fix this bug and make the robot go slower. To do so, we have to input a negative speed, let's say minus 25. Let's try again. Slower, safer, better. Well, shall we try full speed? Be careful, as it could fly off your table. Let's try. Minus 100. Woo! Easy boy! As you've seen, all the blocks are color-coded based on their function. The yellow blocks in the palette control the flow of the program, while the green blocks control the motor movements. Now you know how to make the robot drive straight, but how about steering? Let's change the second input, the one with the steering wheel icon here. Set it to 100 and let's try what happens. Well, it spins counterclockwise. So this input controls how the robot steers. Zero means go straight, as we did before. 100 means spin in place to the right. Minus 100 means spin in place to the left. But this is the game of opposites, remember? So in this case, 100 means spin left, and minus 100 means spin right. 50 and minus 50 will let the robot steer pivoting on a wheel. So one wheel is still while the other moves. We can switch between the numerical input keyboard and the sliders using this little switch over there. So you see, in this case, it says to the left, but our robot will spin to the right clockwise. So now that you know how to drive and make curves, what if you want the robot to move for a longer distance? You can change this input, for example, two seconds. But let's go slower as before. Let's go and try. For the move steering for time block, this time is expressed in seconds. There are other ways to specify the duration of the movement to drive by precise distances. By the way, if you want to learn more about LEGO Boost, I dive much deeper in my book. There's a link in the description for you to check it out. Now that you know the basic blocks to control the robot movement, let's make it pass through your desk. Let's make it go straight, spin, travel back, and change its heading to the original direction. So let's make the program. So 
let's change this back to one second so minus 25 percent straight and then we will add another similar block we change the speed to minus 19 to go slower and change the steering to 100 to spin in place then let's add another one to drive back minus 25 straight for one second and finally let's change the heading back to the original direction minus 19 100 for one second and now let's try it perfect it worked really nice you just wrote a program for your lego boost robot from scratch and you should be proud of yourself but knowing two programming blocks is just the beginning. If you want to level up your Lego Boost programming skills, watch this next.